Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Juan Lopez. I am a second year student here at the IOBM program at Western Michigan University. And if you're watching this video, it's because you are an amazing, uh, interesting, and exciting applicant for this program. So I'm really, really excited to be able to connect with you. Uh, unfortunately, because of COVID-19, of course, uh, we're not able to connect in the same way that we usually would, which would entail us getting together, you know, sharing some food, sitting at the table and conversing uh, in a typical interview weekend fashion. Uh, with that being said, we really want to give you all kind of a feel for who we are and what campus is like, okay? Uh, so, with that being said, I want to show you all the old McGee lab. This is, I say old because we're actually moving out of this lab and into a new space. We'll get to that in just a second. So right now we are at 1532 Wood Hall. And as you'll see here, it says OBM lab. This is the McGee lab, okay? Wood Hall is kind of in the center of campus. If you're not familiar with what campus looks like, it's kind of uh, in the middle, uh, close to some of the larger uh, lecture halls. This is where you're gonna spend a lot of your time as a psychology student, all right? Uh, this lab space, this is a lab annex. I'm actually breaking some rules here without my mask being in a common area, but this lab space is shared with several other uh, psychology faculty members, our psychology students, graduate students. We have our behavioral economics lab here next door, and then we have a few other uh, lab spaces back here. I think offhand I can only remember the behavioral gerontology lab, but there are a couple other lab spaces here. One cool advantage about this uh, layout, uh, and this is not just here, but this is really in all of Wood Hall, is that even though we are an OBM department or an OBM program, our labs are spaced out in between other psychology students and other psychology labs. So you get to really foster those relationships with other students, collaborate with other students, and it's great to be uh, aware of what's happening, what research is happening, what students are doing. It's a really cool and collaborative environment. Okay? Now as I walk you through here, this is what the actual lab space looks like. These are some of the lab student names, although I admit you probably won't be able to read them too well because of my shaking hands, I apologize. So this lab space is kind of like our office. This is where we are able to run research. This is where we were able to do work, uh, hold meetings. This is the weird hole in our lab space, which has been here for a couple years, surprisingly enough. And now these lab spaces are kind of intimate. This one is really not that large, as you'll see. We have a goal board here and some work tables here. Of course, we have our sanitation supplies and our chairs. Typically, there would be monitors and computers back in those little desks or cubby areas where students can have uh, participants for a research study uh, come in, enter. You're able to reserve some of these spaces. Sometimes across the hall, there are other research spaces. So when I think of our lab, I really think of a second office, a home away from home, a place where I'm able to convene with my other lab mates and just get some work done. Uh, what's cool about this lab, about the McGee lab specifically, is that we have here one of the coolest KitchenAid coffee machines here. Now, I'm being facetious a little bit here, but I really do mean it. We drink a lot of coffee in this lab. If you want to be a coffee drinker or if you don't want to be a coffee drinker, think about that before applying to the McGee lab, okay? And as you can see, we have a host of coffees. Now, keep in mind, this is not prepared. This is not staged. This is my first time on campus since March, and we still have coffee here, all right? This is how serious we are about coffee in the McGee lab. Something that we'll do at our weekly lab meetings, so uh, if you join the McGee lab, you'll note uh, that we will have weekly meetings where we'll share some readings, we'll talk about you know, our, our research interests, we'll kind of problem solve sometimes, but one thing that we really do, uh, and we try to do, is we set regular goals, okay? Now this is kind of, in alignment with the classic OBM literature, public goal setting and uh, public feedback, I guess to some degree, not really too much feedback, it's just uh, measuring occurrence or non-occurrence, but uh, we do set goals here, and it's a great way to kind of see what are my colleagues doing, what am I doing? You know, if you're here for the master's practicum track, you're going to have two years. It's in and out. It's really quick. You want to start thinking within your first year about internships, about assistantships, about what are my next moves. And these boards are a great, great, great way to kind of hear what other people are doing and think about what you can do as well. Okay, but of course, 
you know, goal setting is only one aspect or one component of what it is we do in this space. Uh, this space is really yours. It's yours to use as you need and as you wish. Now, this is a collaborative space, so you can't just bring a mattress here and camp out. We all have to share it. Uh, but I do think it's a really important thing to keep in mind. This is somewhere where you can go. We have, we have a refrigerator. We have a microwave. We have toaster ovens. Um, I mentioned that we have the coffee machines in earlier videos. You have kind of some cubby spaces or some shelf spaces where you can keep textbooks or learning materials. This is your place to kind of uh, camp out on campus, make sure that you have the things that you need, and share uh, time with other students, and kind of just be able to separate yourself from the noise, the activity of somewhere like a library space, a classroom, or a common area. Okay, lab space. I think I pretty much covered it. Uh, what I want to do with you all now is I'm going to walk us upstairs and we're going to briefly, because I know Isaac is giving you a tour, we're going to briefly walk through Wood Hall and I'm going to hand the phone off to my colleague Sage Campbell, who's an excellent student uh, and a really, really awesome. I think you should all follow up with her and ask her some questions about what she studies because it's really interesting. Uh, and she's going to do a tour of what was once the Dickinson Lab and is now going to be the McGee Lab. Very exciting about the McGee Lab space, although, you know, we miss, we miss Dr. Dickinson quite a bit. Okay, shall we? Let me just put my mask on and we're going to do a little tour of this space, okay? I'm going to keep the camera on here. Maybe I should just turn this off, huh? Okay. Let's go, friends. Let's take a little trip. So we're leaving the McGee Lab right now, or the, the existing McGee Lab, uh, which will no longer be the McGee Lab, right? So we're not going to be here in this location anymore, which is on the first or the ground floor of Wood Hall. Instead, it's locked. Okay. Instead, we're going to be going uh, up to the first floor, I guess you could call it, uh, of the of Wood Hall, same building. I have my keys. Okay, I just have to make sure. Friends. Okay, so this is kind of like a common space, the common area where you all will uh, not be spending so much time, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, depending on how you feel. Uh, this is Wood Hall. Yeah, let's go. Very cool. And here in Wood Hall, like I, like I mentioned earlier, I think you're going to be spending a lot of your time. A lot of lab psychology labs are here. A lot of classes are run here. There are some computer labs here that are going to be accessed by you all and definitely utilized. I know that I utilized my uh, the computer labs here for many hours. Um, Wood Hall is not only home to the psychology department, not only the they also have clinical psychology as well in this building, uh, geography, uh, biological sciences, I believe. Some biological sciences are posted in this. I know that there are, there's a greenhouse in Wood Hall, uh, and I'm sure that the faculty members that run that, green, uh, that greenhouse are also in Wood Hall. So now we're on the second floor of Wood Hall, and here in the Applied Psychology Lab Annex, you'll see a couple of names. And we're going to go here to room 2532 to what will be our new lab space. Okay, okay, okay. Here we are, 2532. All right, let's see if Sage is here. He can open us and let us in. Bye, everybody. Really nice meeting you. Thanks, Juan. Hi, my name is Sage Campbell, and I'm going to show you guys the new McGee lab space. So I've actually been in this lab space since I started graduate school. I started with Dr. Alice Dickinson. With her retirement, I moved to Dr. McGee's lab, but we switched labs, so I got to stay put where I started. Um, we have a really big space here. Um, you can see this is kind of our general study area, um, but it's broken up also with our research area right here. This is where we would run participants during different studies. 
We also have a printer over here if you need to print off a couple of pages in between classes, things like that. Over here we have our fridge. This is great for storing iced coffee and snacks and anything like that. We also have our couch. I love this couch. It's very comfortable. I have taken a few naps on it. Um, I would definitely recommend four naps if you need one. Um, we have a small whiteboard over here. Um, our entire working space here, complete with a fan, tissues, um, a plug-in setup, and some sanitizing supplies. We also have these big windows. This is my favorite thing about the lab is that you can look outside. As you can see, it's a pretty snowy day here in Kalamazoo. Um, campus is very pretty right now. You can see we have the Honors College, which is that white building. And next to the white building is Rood Hall, which is one of our science and math buildings. This is kind of in the middle of campus, so you get to see a lot of the things that are going on through these windows. We also have another coffee maker. This one is a Keurig machine, and we have a whole box of K-cups, more there, a whole bunch of different things. This is also great. I hope we have both of them up here eventually once we complete our move. Um, and the last thing I wanted to show you is our OBM library. So this is a great resource to have in this lab. Uh, we have a bunch of editions of Jobum. We have some different textbooks and other things like that. So if you're ever article searching, it's a great place to be. Okay, so that's the lab space. Um, again, a lot bigger, a lot brighter than our old one. So we're super happy with it. Now I'm going to put on my mask and walk you outside. Okay, we got our lights off and we are just gonna walk outside. So we go down this hallway here. We have a bunch of different labs and research areas around here. Um, we have the BATS lab here um, and a couple of offices. We come out of this door and we have the main Wood Hall hallway. So we walk this way. There's stairs to the third and first floors right there. And as we keep going, uh, we have our behavioral medicine lab down this hallway. We kind of come out into this open space. We have an outside area over here. Um, this is kind of a fun place to hang out in the spring and when school starts in the fall, things like that. Now we just turn the corner and we are headed outside to the main part of campus. Um, so thank you guys again for watching this video. I hope it gave you a good feel of what our lab space looks like on campus here and I hope it gets you excited to start school. <laughs>